Shalom Israel. I'm happy to come to you again. This time we will be sharing 40 more Bantu names that we found in the scriptures. These names are actually from tribes along the Nigeria Cameroon border, actually in Crossroads River State, northern part of Cross River State, from middle to northern part of Cross River State. So tribes like uh, Bako, Yala, Boki, Ikomo, yeah, names of people, places and and more. Alright, let's uh, let's proceed. I'll be moving quite fast so um, you can pause the video to read stuff when you want. Alright, so we'll start with Boki. The the name is actually from Numbers 34 verse 22. Yeah, that's it. Boki. It's a tribe. It's a tribe in, in the area I just talked about. In the eastern part of Nigeria, bordering Cameroon. Actually, very close to Cameroon. Next is, uh, of course, following these are uh, Boki words will be taken now. This is uh, Hana or Anna. Okay. Um, the 1st Samuel chapter 1 verse 2 the actual word is Kano 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 that, that means favored favored in Boki so um, why, why is the English word looking different from yeah that's the way English uh, put it okay but this is the real pronunciation uh, if you look at the Hebrew lexicon check out this word you see it's actually you see the way I am pronouncing it the way I wrote it out here is the way it should be pronounced all right next is a uh, Kaka this is another name Boki name okay Joshua 15 verse 3 then we have what you have as Enoch in your English Bible is actually Kanok 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 okay and of course, favor too, favor, grace, blessings, okay, in that light, still Boki too. Then we'll have Kina, Kina is like a greeting, okay, it's a greeting, Kina is a greeting in Boki. So you also have Kina in Joshua 15, verse 22. Um, then we have Kagi, Kagi. That's actually Haggai. What you have in your Bible as Haggai is actually Kaki. Okay. Genesis 46, 16, Numbers 26, 15. Kagi is like Nika. Okay. Nika in Boki. Like Kaki. Okay, so they call it Kaki. Okay. Alright. Then we have what you have as John in your English Bible is actually Yahoo Canon. Yahoo is the name of the Father. The name of the Father, the Father in heaven. That's his name, Yahuwah. So when you see Yahoo, then you see Canon. See, Yahuwah has favored. Alright? That's Boki. And it's a Bantu language. These are all Bantu languages. Alright? Then what you have as Peter is actually Kepha. Okay? What the uh, Greek, what was translated into the Greek as Kepha. It's actually as a Peter, it's actually Kefa. Kefa. Okay, Kefa. Alright. Ibo uh, here Kefa. That's where is it? In Bukis the way. Kefa. Show, show somebody the way and say Kefa. This is the way. Alright? So Kefa means the way. Alright, how it became Peter. Well, I'll discuss some of those things um, in another video. But this is the scripture where what the was clearly shown john chapter 1 verse 40 one of they which heard john speak one of the two which heard john speak and followed him you know john saw the savior and said you know acknowledge that he is the lamb of god and all of that so some of his disciples moved on <laughs> so one of those he says 
which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first finded his own brother Simon and said unto him, We have found the Messiah, he says, which is being interpreted the Christ. It wasn't uh, Andrew who said which is being interpreted. It is the translators that put that there. You know, and uh, the word Messiah is Meshiach. Okay? Meshiach. They didn't need to tell us which is being inter interpreted the Christ. The Christ is something else. That is a... Uh, it's actually Greek, okay, Christus, and there were other Christuses, you know, so they just, it didn't have to be um, Jesus, as they would say, to, for it to be Christ, okay? So, um, what they translated, Meshiach, the anointed one, or the Messiah, didn't have to be, okay? Because they just left it as Meshiach, all right? So, anyways, there are several other places like they want to say which is to be interpreted or which is being interpreted. At that point, there is some element of human judgment there. Either it's not very clear, or they are putting a word where they think is correct, or it may just it may just be some dubious um, translation going on there. So, and you have a right just like them to to. Um, examine the scriptures study all right okay it says and first finded his own brother and said unto him we have found the messiahs which is being interpreted the christ and he brought him to jesus yahusha and when yahusha beheld him he said thou art simon the son of jonah thou shalt be called kepha which is by interpretation a stone did did the messiah say which is by interpretation that is their own so it could be it could it may be right it may be wrong okay but from what i'm getting here i don't agree with the stone uh, translation because what we have here is kefa the way then in the book, where is it okay where is it it's more then i'll show you what the back of refer to this as if you if you if you for example where you have um thou art simon son of jonah the back up put in, in in another way okay and i, I when we get there I'll, I'll call your attention to it all right now this is an ecom name i want to share here erim erim meaning descendant of eri okay eri was a descendant of God. Okay. Um, you find it there in, in the scriptures. All right. Numbers chapter 26, verse 16. Then going to a Buddha words. Here we have Akumai. Akumai. That's a popular over the name. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 2. Then we have Asham, that's another name. Joshua 15, 12, 19, 7, and so on. Then this is another tribe, Yala. Very interesting. Uh the use why is, why I'm pointing out this is because there's a use of uh Ya which is the name of the father in several words in fact it appears that yeah has to do with do okay action everything that should be done starts with yeah you know <laughs> every um okay let, let's proceed you see what i mean now the the word this is the name of the tribe yala okay then it's from the word jala in fact, that's the English of the word Yala. The actual Hebrew word is Yala. Okay, but what you find in your English Bible is Jala. Okay. Um, Nehemiah 758, Ezra 256. So Yala was a servant of Solomon, the king. Alright. Then what we have Yasha. 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 Okay. Yasha. 
Now, you find Jasha in your English Bible. That's actually Yasha. Okay? But what you have, righteous, it's actually Yasha. That's the Hebrew word. Okay? And in Yala, it means to do and keep in place. Okay? To do something and keep where it should be in place. Okay? And the Hebrew is upright. Equity. Alright? Like coincidence? I don't think so. Then Abba. Okay? Mark 14, 36. That word Abba, Romans 8, 15. And so on. Where you, where you find Abba, it means father. And in Yala, it also means master. Coincidence? The next word is Yakan. Yakan. That Ya word again. Ya is the name of the Father. And you see, he's been in our vocabulary. He is actually the breath of life. You know, the same thing even in, uh, in Bako, they have this. We'll get there, we'll get there, I'll show you. But here, Ya, Ya, Yakan. Ya lies, do and give to me. Okay? But in the English, you have Jack and there. First Chronicles 5.13 Then Yakubi Yakub Yakubi Yakubi Okay Yakubi in, in Yala is to strive to get something And that refers to Jacob You know what Jacob did right Okay How he supplanted his brother Okay How he, he In the place of his brother Got the birthright So it's it's perfectly in line strive to get something then you have yara and when you get jara you know jara right uh, was actually a descendant of saul that's what we found in the hebrew let's go yala 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 do it and sell now i may not be getting the pronunciations right i'm doing my best okay um, those of you who have to speak the language, forgive me. This is actually from the Yahe area of Yala. Okay, most of my references are from there. All right, say so do it and sell. All right, Yala, Yara, Yara. Okay, Yara. We have Jara. All right. Then here you have Yadua. Yadua. In Yala it's do for them. Okay, in Hebrew is knowing. Alright. Okay. We'll go to back core words now. There is Bakarume. Bakarume. Come give me. Come give me. First Chronicles eleven thirteen, Samuel twenty three, verse thirty one. Okay, it's actually um, Second Samuel twenty three, thirty one. And what you have in the scriptures actually is Baharumite. Okay, that's how the English wrote it, but it's actually Bakarume, Bakarume in the Hebrew. Next is Ira. That means three in Bako language. In, in the number three. All right? You find it in scriptures, Second Samuel 20, 26, and so on. Then we have Iran. That's five. Number five in Bako language. All right? Joshua 19, 38. Then we have Kagi, Kagi, all right, Kagi is to put on, okay, to put on, so it's like putting on, in Hebrew it's festive, so like you, you put on your costume or you put on and get ready for the festival, all right, so Kagi, then that's also what you have as Haggai, okay, in your English Bible, Genesis 46, 16, Numbers 26, 15, then Yafo, 
Yeah, for there is gaffo in Bakwa and it means thank you. So I put this there because it could very well be the same word. Alright, that's what you have as Jopa or Jaffa in your English Bible. Then Haniel. Okay, what you have as Haniel is actually Kaniel. Kaniel. Kani, Kani, Kani. In in uh, in Bako language is try to make an attempt, but it's more than that, it's actually favor, favor. But when you try, you're favored in that attempt. So it's favored, right? Kani. Okay? The same way you say it, it, it's in, uh, it, it rhymes with what you have in Boki as Kano, okay? So this is Kani. It's Bako language, Kani. And then you have the L there, L, Kani L, Kani L. That's actually referring to. The Most High, Elohim, Kaniel, okay, so it's the favor of Elohim, all right, good, and Kanotone, Kanotone, that's favor is following, Kanotone, favor is following, and that's why we have here, favored, right, favored, and that's actually the Hebrew meaning too, favored. What you have in the English Bible is Hanathon, Joshua 19, verse 14. Then you have Ibri. That's actually the word for Hebrew. What you have as Hebrew in your English Bible is actually Ibri, and it's a Bako name. Then, Kobo. Like in Bako, you say, take hand. Okay, hold my hand. Kobo. Guess what it means in Hebrew? United, joining. And that's what you have in English as Habor, H A B O R. Second Kings seventeen six, Second Kings eighteen eleven, and so on. Now this is why I was talking about L, okay? L, Elim. Like in Bako, when you want to say Ba Lemakame, Ba Lem, come, let's do something. So Lem, there has to do with do, just like what you had. He, as ya in yala language is what we have as el elem elemakame you see when we say that we may think we are just talking on earth level okay but we're actually calling on the name of the father elem kame elem baolem okay you we are calling on his name okay so to do to do and look at what it says here mighty strong so it has to do with doing that's elohim elohim and i say Eli, Eli, lama sabatana that's why it's calling on him all right that's his name elohim so elim 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 when we're saying elim to do we're actually calling on the name of the father so he's he's the strength that we have he's the ability that we have it's very important that we know from how far we've fallen. You know, we fell so much that we lost every consciousness of who we are because we sinned. We broke his law. And then we we're sent into slavery, oppressed by several nations. All right. All right. Let's go on. Sholem, Sholem. That's the handwork of Yah. What he has done. Sholem. What's sure salvation? Or you say sure. Okay? That's the name of the Most High. So, what the work of salvation or the work of the Most High. What he has done. Sholem. And look at it here. Is it complete, safe, peaceful, perfect, whole, at peace? That's the work of Yah. Okay? And what that's why you have your English Bible as Salem. Praise yeah. Then the next is Yerushalem. Yerushalem. See what the most high has done. See what salvation has done. That's where the name Jerusalem came from. Then Ayah. 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 You all know what Ayah is. River, right? Bako Ayah River. And there are several rivers 
Yeah, there, there's Monaya here, the child of Aya, and then there's Aya here. These are names of rivers right in the Bako nation, right here in the towns of the Bako. All right. And of course, uh, Aya is what you have as Aja in the English. Then Yemna, 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 Yemna. That's and it says in the Hebrew, it says, as be token by the right hand. Prosperity has been. So you show, it says, stand here, like stand on my right hand, the place of prosperity. I'm the one positioning you. Okay, that's the most I say, Yemna, Yemna. All right, Yemna. That's like same thing in Bako. Yemna, stand here. All right, it says, prosperity has be token by the right. So there's a direction you give, Yemna. All right, and that's what you see in your English Bible as Jimna. All right, next is well, here, this is where I say we're coming to. What you have as Simon Bar Jonah, whose name was changed to Kephar. Now, I found out something interesting, and uh, I want to share it. Like I said, you have a right to do your research. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved. A workman that will not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of the earth. So, you should search yourself. There's nothing wrong in searching. People search the scriptures to find out that, oh, yes, it was time for the Messiah to show up. And when he showed up, they said, yeah, he is the one. People searched. People searched. Hallelujah. People searched. Now you find out uh, here, said Simon Bar Jonah. In, in Bakula, we Shimon Bar Yono. Shimon Bar Yono. That's turn and follow that way. Turn and follow that path. Shimon Bar Yono. Right now, have you seen that that corresponds with what you have as Kefa, the way in Boki, still a Bantu language, and that's why I'm suspicious of the Peter thing, where it came from. You know, the, the, it was translated from Hebrew because the Most High, our, our Savior, spoke actually spoke Aramaic, even the Father spoke Aramaic. What they call ancient Hebrew. So that was translated to Latin, to Greek, then back to what you have as modern Hebrew, which I'm even using for study here and comparing. If not, you know, we have been a lot more exact. Okay? With many more words. But of course, we have more. I just picked some I thought I, I want to share. So from, from uh, Hebrew, to Latin, to Greek, back to Hebrew and then English. All right. So, Shimon Bar Yono. Simon Bar Yono. And when you have Bar in in uh, in Hebrew, something interesting again, like you say, um, Bar Timaos. Okay, the son, the the son of Timaos. Bar 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 is like. The road, the lineage. So you say this is his his lineage. Let's assume, okay, this is um, the son of Yona. Okay, so it says Bar Yona, the lineage of Yona, the road of Yona. Bar. That's what you have as Bar, and it's act. They actually agree it's Aramaic, which is ancient Hebrew, not modern Hebrew. Modern Hebrew, I think, is Ben also. So for some, but this is Bar, Bar, Bar Yona. All right, that's the lineage of the road of. Okay, because you say, okay, this is the father here. You're going to say along this road, this is lineage. All right. Then the feast of dedication. Corn is feast. Okay, so you say corn uko uko is. Koi is take, right? So corn is feast, feast of take. In dedication, what do you do? You dedicate a child, you dedicate a house, you dedicate ministry, whatever. You are giving to the Most High. So you say take corn uko, the feast of uko. Hallelujah! And that's what you have as feast of dedication. You find Numbers seven ten, Second Chronicles seven verse nine. 
and so on. Do your research, get the Hebrew lexicon and study. Go online and check out a lot of these words. You see, um, you can confirm some of the things I'm saying. Now, tabak, okay, tabak is tobacco language for truth. Truth, tabak. Genesis 22 24. Wow, this one is interesting. Kore, Kore, Kore. Okay, Kore. Re, in uh, Re, it says, in Hebrew, it says, crier, crying out of a partridge, like the bird, the partridge, like it cries. Re, in, in Bako, Re, Re is cry. Okay? You say kore crying, right? Cry. So when you say kore, it's cry. Then we have yeah. and the whole kore. People are crying. That's in Bako. In Hebrew, it says fountain of one crying. That means plenty cries. <laughs> People are crying. And the kore. Aneokure, 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 that people are crying. That's pure bako. Of course, in English, what you have is different. Enhakure, Enhakure, Enhakure. That's what you have. Georges 15, verse 19. This is another interesting one. What you have as Jeremiah in the English is. Yermeyahu. Yermeyahu. Yermeya is like, uh, you say, Muyuri, I'm filled. I'm filled. Okay? And say, Muyuri, are you, are you full? Are you satisfied? Are you full? So, Yerme, feel me. Feel me. Feel me, Yahuwah. Feel me, Yahuwah. And then also, you say, you want to climb up. Okay? Muyuri, you want to climb up to somewhere. So, you can use the word euro, okay? So you can say when he says euro me yahu, he says Yahuwah raises me or Yahuwah fuels me. Okay, in the Hebrew it says Yahuwah will rise. Coincidence? What do you think? Then you have in English Mago Misabib, Jeremiah 20, verse 1 to 4. Okay. The actual Hebrew pronunciation is Margori Misobib. Margori, that Margori, Margori. <laughs> Very interesting story. Okay. Um, uh, Jeremiah was actually preaching, okay, and his preaching was about the destruction of Jerusalem, destruction of the temple, and all of that. And a certain priest got him beaten and locked up. So the next day, when he was released, and then he saw the priest, he says, the Lord has given you, the Most High has given you a new name. <laughs> he says your name is Magor Misabib. Magor has to do with regret, apology. Okay? Ah. Like I wish I never met you. I wish I never did it. Okay? Regrettable thing. All right? Magor Misabib. Bib is wicked. Okay? <laughs> all right? So you're like, you're a bundle of regrettable wickedness <laughs> all right let's move on um upright righteous okay it's actually um you're sorry you're sorry that's like saying let the most high abide or let salvation abide all right sure that sure is there you're sorry okay i'm sorry then we have Lami okay, in English. The Hebrew word is actually Lakmi. 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 Right? Lakmi. In, in Bako, it means like you put on clothes and say, It like me. It fits me. Okay? It fits me. It's close to my body. It fits me. Alright? It's close to me. It fits me. Alright? Lakmi. In Hebrew, it says food full. Okay, you're full of food or something like that. So it's the same thing. Right? Okay. Hellborn in English is actually Kelborn. Kelborn in, in Bako, 
Gel Aboni. Gel Aboni. Fruitful. In Hebrew, is, is fruitful. Gel is to give birth. Aboni is children. To give birth to children. Okay? Fruitful. Okay? Fruitful. Gel Aboni. Fruitful. In Hebrew, he has a Gel Aboni. Coincidence? Or truth? Now, this is beautiful. What you have as law, Tor, 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 is actually Tor in Bako. Tor means speak. You give a speech. Tor, 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 Tor. That's what you have in the Hebrew as the law. That's what Hebrew calls the law. Wow. All right. Thank you for listening. I want you to share, okay? Share, like, comment. Let this news spread abroad. And the reason is you believe it. Okay, guess what? I didn't I didn't have to find out all this before I believed who were as children of the most high Israelites who have been scattered around the world. I didn't have to see all of this. No. It was on a certain day after I had believed, after I had started walking in this truth as I have it now that my eyes were open to see this so till next time shalom